Hey, it's Monday night, only an hour earlier, still light here on the coast. Uh, it's voiceover body shop, and our guest tonight with us is going to be Isa Lopez. There she is. And your questions coming up on voiceover body shop right now. Two men, twin sons from different mothers, with a passion for voiceover recording technology and the desire to make recording easy for voice actors everywhere. Together, in one place, George Whittem, the home studio engineer to the stars, a Virginia Tech grad with an unmatched knowledge of all the latest gear and technology in voiceover today. Dan Leonard, the home studio master, a voice actor with over 30 years experience in broadcasting and recording, and a no-holds-barred, myth-busting attitude for teaching you how easy it is. Together, to bring you all the latest technology, today's voiceover superstars, and leading the discussion on how to make the most of your voiceover business. This is VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan's signature products. Source elements, remote connections made even easier. VO2GoGo.com. Everything you need to be a successful voiceover artist. J. Michael Collins Demos, award-winning demo production. VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your voiceover website won't be a pain in the butt. And VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live from their super-secret multimedia studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. BS. <laughs> I lost a little bit of the voice there. Ooh. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a little better. You know, yeah. I got a little under the weather, mm -hmm. but when the lights go on, showtime. it's showtime. Yeah. Way to prop it up, man. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling much better. My no, electrolytes good. were getting a little bit low, and we all know how painful that can be. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, tonight, uh, Isa Lopez is our guest, and uh, we'll be talking to her in just a second. And uh, if you got a question for us, throw it in the chat room, because I believe Mike Merlino is in charge of the chat room yes, tonight. he is. And uh, he'll be uh, tossing your questions, because I'm sure you got lots of questions for Isa. Or if you got a tech question, throw it in the chat room now would be a yeah. really good time. We'll be covering that in the next segment. That's right. We also can take your questions on Zoom. So if you want to have your question answered live, audio and video, or just audio would be fine too, we can do that as well. So if you'd like to do that, we'll put the Zoom link in the chat room on VOBS.TV. All righty. Well, it's time to introduce our guest. Uh, and, you know, Isa Lopez has a specific flair for radio imaging oh, yeah. uh, and can cover the full range from energetic and playful to sexy and sultry. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to hear that. And as a result, Isa is one of the most in-demand bilingual voices in the freelance voiceover world. And let's welcome to VoiceOver Body Shop, Isa Lopez. Hey, guys. There she Thank is. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's great having you. Now, you're in Denver, Colorado, high in the, the Mile High City there. Yes, I just moved to a, a smaller town, real cow town. It's called Peyton, Colorado. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Color it, Denver is fascinating. You drive, the city ends, and then you're like, where'd the city go? Where'd there's, it's, you're out in the country. It's, They're still building the borders. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you're, you're somebody who does a tremendous amount of imaging work. Uh, and, uh, you know, so... But we'd like to find out how did you what what is your what was your journey? How did you get there? You started off singing and doing music? Yes. My father was one of the creators of um I'm really gonna tell my age now, but do you remember Menudo with like Ricky Martin and all those Yes, Menudo? I remember that. They were huge. Yeah, yeah. so huge. um he was very, very known in Puerto Rico and um very talented a musician. Um, actually toured with um, Casey and the Sunshine Band and Cool in the Gang for 10 years. Ooh, and just oh. really amazing uh, musician. So I got a lot of that musical background. A lot of people from Puerto Rico, even Rosie that you guys know, Amador, and her yeah. family, they sing, they write music. It's just kind of in us. So um, pushing forward, 
I really wanted to do that singing thing. So um, when Star Search went on the road, I won that uh, when I was uh, 11. And I also won the Apollo when they went on the road to Colorado. I, I won that at 14. And uh, by the time I was 25, 26, I had my first official, you know, record deal. Everything was like there. And, you know, you work all your life for something. And then I sat there in, in that room of uh, executives. And when I saw the when I saw their plans for me, let's just put it this way. It was not what I expected. And uh, it's just I decided to walk away from that deal. It was one of the hardest things uh, I have ever done actually. Um, you think your life is over, but you know, if you're listening, there are so many things uh, beyond hitting rock bottom. You can only go up. So I, um, I got really, really depressed. And, but to pay the bills, I became a nanny. And <laughs> the guy, the guy, what, what was really crazy is I'm not even into kids. So that's really a nanny. <laughs> yeah, that's like, usually kind of a requirement for nanny them, from what I remember. <laughs> It's not a retirement. No, no. It's not a requirement for teaching, apparently. No, no. Based on no. some of the teachers I've met. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the guy that I was nannying for, he provided glasses for a lot of the program directors in Colorado, and he was overhearing them uh, that they were about to uh, that Clear Channel at the time, which is now iHeart. If you're listening and you're not sure, like who? What's Clear Channel? That's the uh, original name of iHeart, and uh, they were about to start a bilingual radio format. And they were looking for a female that can uh, go from, you know, Spanish right into English, English to Spanish. Because, you know, a lot of you that are listening that are, you know, bilingual, I'm sure it happens on a daily basis. You're like, oh, buenos dias. Okay, I want a burger with some queso. Like, you just go back and forth. <laughs> so I went in. It's kind of normal for us. So I went in and I, I interviewed and uh, I... I must have left some kind of impression. I, I never really heard back, but I sent them all a thank you card. And and I had already been doing jingles locally for um, TV affiliates. I also sang um, the morning show song for the hottest radio show at the time here in Colorado. So I had some stuff on paper, you know, um, writing jingles, singing them. Uh, and I think about a month and a half later, I got a call from the PD at the time. And I never forgot it because... I was doing the nanny job and then I had a receptionist job and then I was teaching aerobics at Curves at night. So I had like three jobs in my 20s. And he called me and he goes, are you ready to be a star? Are you ready to be on billboards? And I'm like, huh? So <laughs> very unrealistic if you're listening and you're interested in getting into radio. I got my own radio show, morning show, to be to be a specific. Mm -hmm. Very, very unrealistic. So I was with Clear Channel slash iHeart for almost gosh, 12 years. So I was with them a really long time. Um, and in that radio world, I got not only a more commercial experience, um, very important, I got comfortable with the mic, which is something mm -hmm. that is, is you have to master, right? You have to be comfortable with the mic. Yep. Um, and I got my chance to do, in 2005, I got my chance to do my first radio imaging gig with iHeart. Um, after I did well with them, I just started to build a rapport with producers, which is, it's something that I bring up a lot when I talk to people and they ask me, Isa, I want to get into radio imaging and da, da, da. It's so important to keep relationships positive with everyone involved because it's not your, it's not just your voice, right? It's, right. it's the, uh, imaging producers that also put in their magic and, um, it takes a long time, though. Like a lot of people that may like you may go to my Instagram or you may go to, you know, someone else's Instagram and you or any social media. Right. And you may be like, oh, my God, this is fun. This sounds like, you know, she's having a great time. And, and yes, I am. But it took years, years to get a lot of uh, radio stations behind me on yeah. my own roster it, right it, it took, what what, you know, what did that involve i mean i mean you you were doing jingles at you know at, at iheart and you're you're, yeah. you're and you, but how did you get other stations to take you on saying hey i can do your imaging for you is that other companies that do that or do you have to go you know, out and freelance on your own and say hey i can do this better than what you got or what so being in-house was a lot of help for me i happened to be in a local a building that had the regional iHeart 
guy there. So I was lucky. So I was always in his face, kind of like, hey, you got a new station that's about to flip? Or like, what's going on? Because I can do it, you know? <laughs> and I would always just impound that in them. Um, another thing that is important, and this is easy to do, guys. If you are listening and you're interested in radio imaging and you're admiring people out there, it doesn't, it, it, and this goes for all form of VO. I don't care how amazing and spectacular you can be with VO. We all can't do it all, okay? I have to say no to a lot of things. What I mean by that is where this is going is that I had the luxury mm -hmm. of uh, Roger um, Keeler, uh, amazing imaging uh, producer, he introduced me to who still these two women are, are still amazing in radio imaging my today, phone. which is Andy Wig and uh, Jennifer Sweeney. And so, <clears throat> and so, <clears throat> excuse me, they were able to take me under their wing and kind of mentor me. And so that's when more gigs started. So how I got a lot of my gigs, <clears throat> excuse me, is let me just take some water. No problem. Mm -hmm. is very da, 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 it's Colorado. Da. It's very dry. You got to keep yourself this is where it hydrated. Gets real. So, yeah. So as I was being mentored by these women, you need demos. You need something to show people. So, yeah, I had that one station, but I needed more stuff. So I had to start doing stuff for free. So I had uh, one of my ladies that was mentoring me. She's like, listen, there's a station in Brazil. They are like top notch. I can't take it right now. They don't pay a lot of money, but Isa, he's an amazing producer, which, you know, that's the one thing I don't do. I don't, I don't produce. And she's like, I think you should take it. So that's what I did. I was the voice of RCN radio in Brazil for years. And that alone got me content. So, you know, you need content, you know, I, Mm. You, you need something to show what you can do. And so, and also it got me familiar with a lot of copy that radio imaging, um, you know, entails. Yeah. Well, because you could be good at, at saying, you know, wild 101.5, but there's way more to radio imaging than just saying wild 101.5. There's, there's concert promos. Uh, you have to engage the listener. You're kind of like the seasoning for the station. You brand that station is so important. Yeah. How does that process work? I mean, does each station say we want it like this, we want it like that, or you know, you know how to do this, just go do it. And and what is your technique that makes you different from other people doing that type of stuff? Absolutely. Um, it, depending on the format, right? You get an audition, right, from somebody that hits you up, and uh, you just you read the lines and you kind of wing it. So common sense number one, guys. If someone's sending you a script or an opportunity, because let me say, radio imaging now, even when I started, there was no podcasts. There was no intros. There are so many ways that you can get uh, a demo together of stuff that you can do with your voice when it comes to like radio or podcast intros, right? You have all kinds of ways of getting that uh, um, opportunity. It's, you got to do common sense. Like if you're going to try out for a station, do your homework. Just don't send it in it's kind of like interviewing for something you know you want to know a little bit about the company so if it's a top 40 station well guess what i'm gonna talk like this why because it's kids listening to it right you know i'm not gonna sound like you know what i'm just sick and tired of all this it's not gonna be that sound <laughs> you know <laughs> so you just you gotta kind of gauge it yeah. um yeah, we're, right. Wait, let, let, let me just stop you there for a second. If you're just joining us, we're talking with Isa Lopez. She is a bilingual imaging voice, mm -hmm. and she does a lot of that. Of course, a lot of other commercial stuff, which we can talk about. If you have a question for Isa about any of this stuff, and I know all you guys out there, especially imaging stuff, you want to do imaging. Yeah. You know, it's uh, you know, it's a competitive market. Throw your question in the chat room that Mike Merlino is currently moderating, and he will get that question to us. I know you got questions about this. Put it in there now. Okay, you were saying that uh, you were talking a little bit about technique there. Yeah, so, you know, you just kind of know, like, if it's top 40, you do that, you know, if it's... Uh, and then another thing, too, is, uh, again, I'm speaking on a personal basis. Like, I'm speaking about stuff that's worked for me, okay? I've tried a lot of formats, and 
you got to be believable. Kind of like um, Dan, before um, the podcast started, we were talking about how with VO, it's be- you got to be believable, right? Right. And so where I have found my niche is doing the Spanglish thing. So, you know, it's doing the, you know, turn it up. You know, en tres, dos, uno, Z noventa y nueve, nueve, your station. So it's like English, Spanish. So you got to find a niche in that world. Um, but with anything, you really got to believe in what you're doing. Um, we all, as, as VO people, we want to engage in so many different types of VO. But if you're really wanting to get into that radio imaging world, I ask you to do your homework and to, you know, kind of be prepared. Um, on a good note, if you're interested in getting in radio imaging, the good things, let me, let me start with a couple of things. You don't need an agent. You don't need to be union, okay? You can start that train by yourself. There are so many ways of getting lists of radio stations. There are certain times of the year, um, there's a word that we use in radio a lot, where radio stations flip. It happens all the time. A flip may be someone's losing their job in radio imaging, and I have to talk about that too. But that may open a door for you as well, because if they're turning into another format, like a country station may turn to a heavy metal station. Yeah. Or, you know, and or as, the, as the station manager would always say when he would call me into his office, we're going in another direction. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let me tell you, I know that for a fact. I mean, that is how I went full-time VO. You know, I, I, I had told you guys... Um, I was there almost, what, 12 years, and I never forgot it. It was January of 2016. I was not only being uh, locally very successful, but I was syndicated in Spanish through iHeart, and everything was great, and, you know, changes just happen. But sometimes in life, things happen to kind of nudge you to really do what your passion is. And I had built a studio with the money that I had set aside. I really wanted a studio in the house. And after losing my job and and interviewing in other places, I said to myself, okay, Isa, you have about a year saving. Why don't you just try this VO thing for a year? And it's crazy because I'm grateful to people like, um, you know, Alison Steele and, Jen Sweeney, and, and these are people that are amazing voices with VO, uh, with radio imaging. Cayman Kelly, who's the voice of The Breakfast Club for um, iHeart. That's one of the hottest radio shows um, in the U.S. and online. And, uh, you know, and, and Joe Cipriano, uh, he was like, Isa, do it, but keep doing something on the weekends. And so... A lot of people, they see me and and they see me having all these stations right now and doing really, really well. But I want people to know it took a long time to really get things going. And uh, I I just stopped that part-time job on the weekends, um, I think, in September of this last year. But um, what it took for me to actually start flying by myself was just probably 85% marketing and practicing. And when I mean marketing, I mean low, like studying stations, hitting them up, following people on LinkedIn, saying hello, not in a bugaboo type of way. If you're like, Isa, what's a bugaboo? Bugaboo, you know what I mean. Like in your face, like, hey, uh, I do this, I do that. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> there's a class, there's a class way of doing it, but I just hit hard with advertising. I had relationships already with people in radio. So I was lucky that way. But Mm -hmm. regardless, regardless, I want people that are listening to know that even at the status that I was at radio imaging wise on my own, making good money with a lot of, especially international stations in South America and in the Caribbean, it took me 11 years to get a radio imaging agent. So don't think it happens overnight. And another important thing I have to say about radio imaging and and getting an agent, because it's easy to become offended, right? Oh, well, why don't they represent me? Always remember something. My fiance told me this because he's a music manager. And when he said it, I was like, dang, he's right. I remember a couple years ago saying, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And he's like, always remember, you have to have something to manage for someone to manage you. So always remember that. You got to have stuff on your roster. You got to have like your own buzz going. Um, All righty. Hey, yeah. 
If you're just joining us, is that the bell? It, it's it's the end of round one. <laughs> Isa Lopez is our guest again. If you've got a question, throw it in the chat room. Now would be a really good time, and we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with our questions and your questions right after this. Imagine mandatory retirement at age 57, and J. Rodney Turner wasted no time when he got that news. He decided what the next act in life was going to be for him. Voiceover. And fortunately for him, he chose the one form of acting, voice acting, for which the demand far exceeds the number of available performers. Audiobook narration. He worked hard and smart, and J. Rodney Turner's name is now on the cover of over 100 of those audiobooks. For sale right now on Audible, which he produced in just the last four years or so. Want to know a secret? Here it is for free. David H. Lawrence the 17th has just released the first episode of a free video training series devoted to audiobooks, and it tells just how J. Rodney Turner did it in vivid detail. Visit vo2gogo.com forward slash vobs to see it. If the idea of getting paid to tell stories appeals to you, or if you're already doing audiobooks but aren't having the success you know you're capable of achieving, this video is a must-see. Check out the video here. Visit vo2gogo.com forward slash vobs. That's vo2gogo.com forward slash vobs. Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big-voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? This is Virgin Radio. Well, okay, we're not that innocent. There's jeans for wearing and there's jeans for working. Dickies, because I ain't here to look pretty. She's a champion of progressive values, a leader for California, and a voice for America. It's smart. It's a phone. It's a smartphone. But it's so much more. It's a, the files are ready. Don't forget to pick up the eggs. What time is hockey practice? Check out this song. It's the end of the road for Rick. It's just you and me, Rick. When hope is lost. The I-8 from BMW. Who said saving the planet couldn't be stylish? Hey, it's J. Michael Collins. Bet you think I'm going to try and sell you a demo now, huh? I think they speak for themselves. But I will give you my email. It's jmichael at jmcvoiceover.com. Now, if Dan will stop waxing his mustache for a minute, we'll get back to the show. We're back here on VoiceOver Body Shop. We're talking with Isa Lopez, and we're talking about imaging, which is a not an easy genre to get yourself into. It's, as, I, as I've been saying, nice work if you can get it. Uh, but is it fun? Let me ask you that. Yeah, is that's a, a good fun question. Genre? Do you enjoy it? Is it something really fun for you? Absolutely. You know, yeah. On a good point, you guys, like I said, you don't have to be union. You don't have to have an agent, right? Um, but be prepared to be available a lot, like ASAP. Like when you get liners from a program director, I always say they want it yesterday. So, you know, you can't just go off and go to the mall and get those Nikes that you wanted during the day. No, you have to stick to it. Anybody that's like super, super busy in radio imaging, um, if there's a couple people that you want to look up and to listen to their stuff, Steve Stone. You know, and Andy Wig, Kelly Doherty, Rachel McGrath, Chad Erickson, they will tell you they do not leave the mic. They're super busy. Yeah, they love what they do. I love what I do. But you have to be there. It has to be a quick, quick turnaround. Very quick turnaround. You got to be good at reading. You know, if you get a, a and it kind of like VO, right? You guys, a, a comma is there for a reason. An exclamation point is there for a reason. A, a word that's bolded, they want it out there. You know, those are the things that those producers are going to are going to know. OK, Issa knows what they're what she's doing or, you know, if you mispronounce something. But, you know, just be flexible and be like, yo, tell me if this was wrong. I'll send it over. The easier you are to work with. These producers talk to themselves all the time. It's a small world. The radio imaging uh production world and people talk and if you're you're nice to work with and and you do things right i'm telling you it's gonna go a long way but you just got to be around don't be leaving the house <laughs> all right now what one of the things you were talking a little bit about how you do a sort of spanglish do you do pure spanish imaging anywhere i do um i would say let's see i have about 20 plus stations and 
I only have, let's see, I have Kiss in Cincinnati, Kiss 1071 in Cincinnati. So if you're ever there, that's in English. Um, most of my stations are in Spanish. Most of my stations are in Spanish. I just got my first Spanglish kind of station, my second one, in Philadelphia. And oh. let me tell you, uh, that imaging style is just really, really, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Um, I just came out with a brand new Spanglish demo. Um, is that actually that I, what it's being it called? Says, it like says in the Spanglish I'm, on I'm, there? I'm like, calling it that. Oh, okay. what, what do they call it in the biz? What, what's the technical term? They're really um, bilingual. Bilingual, okay. But I'm like, okay, this is a new Spanglish demo, and mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing because it just goes from English to Spanish. And it's just something that you're seeing a lot of. Um, a lot of these um, formats, like top 40 formats, when you're in your car, you're going to hear a lot of reggaeton and a lot of Spanish music. So, that's like in all Spanish right now. And that's currently. And so to me, it's exciting because the need for English Spanish is just growing. And, you, you know, another thing about radio imaging that I really wanted to tell the women that are listening this is not a field where it's just all the men, you know. Yeah, we appreciate the Steve Stones and the, you know, Josh Goodmans and the Joe Ciprianos. But this is a field where it, it's friendly for women to get into. And it's so exciting because you hear, you know, all kinds of powerful voices like Rachel McGrath and Kelly, 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 you know, that are groundbreaking voices. And they're women and they're doing it. They are doing it. So it, it, it's positive. <laughs> Um, what does doing all this imaging involve? I mean, you were just saying that uh, okay. you you can't you can't go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, so the like, technical yeah. side of things. I mean, are you like chained to your desk? I mean, as we I like to call it, say, golden handcuffs. Or I wouldn't say that. Like, okay, let's say you let's say you land a station. Okay, like I I landed a new station, um, the first week of of 2019, which is great. I can't really say where it's going to be at, but um. It, that'll happen in February when I tell everyone. But anyway, so here's what's going to happen. So you got to do everything in the beginning. So you'll get about four pages of stuff, right? Uh, you talk with the PD. I, I do. My style is I want to I want to know what you want, you know, from beginning to end because it's your baby. Right. And so I take those pages. I send them back on a regular basis. I'm going to hear from that producer maybe two or maybe twice for that week. And you're going to get a couple liners and maybe a promo. But guess what? If you have an agent and you have that contract, that money is every single month. And that's another positive thing about radio imaging. As, as VO artists, not talking about imaging, we all know we wake up unemployed every day. We don't know what we're going to do a month from now, right? We, we, this is what we live. But with radio imaging, uh, as well as, you know, like TV affiliate and promo, you have that contract with that radio station. It can last from one year to legendary stations can last to 20. You never know. But the positive thing is that it's a guaranteed check every single month. Um, and it's, to me, it's low maintenance. It, I mean, I have over 20 stations. The session that I have for a station, let, let's say I just finished a session. I've never been behind the mic more than five minutes for that session. Now, if you complain about that, you got a serious problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's self-directed. You get the script, you pump it out, you send it. Okay, back. Mm. that's a great thing that you that it depends on the, it depends on the producer. Ooh, some of them I are directed. Had, I, I'm not working for them. Uh, I worked for them, let's see, for a good four years. But I had one guy that didn't even want me to say anything, not one vowel, without him on the phone directing me. Mm. It, you have to get to know the producer that you're with. You know, sometimes sometimes they'll kind of bicycle you or on in the beginning. And then once they know that you got their flow going, they'll let you do it by, you know, by yourself. But there are some that, you know, that want to be on, 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 you know, in the session. But again, these sessions, not even 10 minutes, you guys, at least again. Yeah. I'm right. talking on a personal level. <laughs> right. Let, let me ask you something, a, a technical question, which I know George probably knows the answer to. Yeah. When you record this stuff and you send it out, what are you doing to it? Is it just, it's just your dry voice or, Listen. or are you, are you, they saying you got to process this and you got to process that because you have to sound like on your radio, which no, I didn't they think so. They don't want anything. They right. don't want you to do nothing because that's <laughs> their baby. <laughs> 
that th don't you dare do anything at least uh, in a personal level um i'll switch to i'm i'm pointing to my other mic i'll switch to the shotgun mic yeah because most you know imaging people will let you know they prefer that mic because this tlm will pick up everything um so i'll do that mic uh, which is it's also strategically a, a lot of us do that mic because that's the mic we're going to travel with too because again if you're traveling and you're not on vacation guys you got to take your mic with you because if there's a you know if a celebrity has passed away or anything breaking anything again you have to be there for uh the station at, at most at, at all times and the turnaround is very very quick so yeah i just i do the liners and um i send it right over without anything right. not about, one thing how about auditioning same deal or do you process for auditions okay i know some people in the industry that have skills and for those auditions they even have people they even pay people to produce it for them mm -hmm. i have not done that myself i know that that has gotten people the gig many 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 times um it's a nice trick i haven't done it but how many gigs uh, did they not get because they were doing that you, uh, you uh, see, I, guess I don't know. It's sort of the luck of the draw. I'm not talking, talking about to? mixing. Yeah. I'm talking about just the voice the, with some processing. I'm not talking about a full mix. You're saying people pay somebody else to process their voice for an audition to fully produce it. No, I'll tell you a step further. You mean with music and I know. effects? Yeah. Let me tell you this. Here's another trick, because if you're listening and you want to get into radio imaging, which I know a lot of people want to get into radio imaging and they do production. That's right. one thing that I don't do. And I admire right. if you know how to produce. There is nothing wrong with finding a station. Maybe it's somewhere close to you, something that you really want or you heard a rumor that, you know, I'm going to tell you now a great time to send a demo to people is, you know, after September, because closer to budget season, that's when things start to, okay, we're going to flip the station in November or December or January. It's I've known people wrong. to land gigs <laughs> because they have sent in stuff <laughs> fully produced and it gives that person, you know, it dresses yeah. that person, that, that picture. And if you've got the time and the skills, do it. Why not? You better have the skills, though. You try to pull that off and you don't, and you fall short, they're going to laugh when they hear that. Half right, right. <laughs> I know someone Produce who's done demo. it. <laughs> I know someone who's done it and has landed. He landed a, a gig in Chicago. That's a great market, and that's great pay mm -hmm. because he had it produced and went that extra level. I don't, I don't got the skills or the time to, to do that. <laughs> I'm glad you said pay. So this is pretty much all non-union. Who is establishing the rate? Are you establishing your rate or are you going from some kind of a rate chart that's out there? Okay. So here's how it works. Pay is about where it is. Mm -hmm. So of course, market one and two is Size New York market. and LA. Right. You know, uh, Texas is, is pretty up there too. So when you have an agent, which thank God I do, because there is one thing, I may have a lot of talents in this world, but negotiating is not one of them. Mm. Okay. They are the ones that do that part, which is a beautiful part of my day. Cause I just sit here, look pretty and voice it mm -hmm. and that's it. <laughs> so yes, but before I had an agent, thank goodness I had the Jen Sweeney and the Andy wig and the Cayman Kelly's of the world, including people like Joe Cipriano, the nicest guy in the world. You know, if, if you have established relationships with people that are in the field, and that they know that you're legit and that you're you're getting the ball rolling. There's nothing wrong with shooting them over an email. Never call busy radio people ever, by the way. Okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't do that. So email them and say, yo, this station in, in Dallas, Texas, you know, what do you think I should tell them? And they're going to tell you. They're going to shoot you back and be like, um, you know, that's market 12. I go for 400. See if they go down to 300, you know, mm. you start to learn, you know, but I will tell you this. And a lot of people may disagree with me. You guys, I did a lot of things for free in the beginning because I wanted practice. I wanted versatility and I wanted some slam in productions. So since they were coming from people that I looked up to and they vouched for these people and I knew that these stations were legit, 
I decided to take those stations on because they're the ones that got me more stations that actually paid mm -hmm. because I needed production. Okay. Um, I have some exciting info for people that are listening, especially for today. If you are interested in radio imaging coaching, which if I would have had the opportunity to coach with one of the most iconic voices, Kelly, 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 she is doing coaching as of February. So just go to the imaginghouse.com mm. and you can email me Isa at isavoice.com and I will send you this stuff without a problem. But Kelly is doing voice of um, radio imaging coaching and also um, a producer that's done two of my demos that have gotten me a lot of work. Eric Romanowski um, from um, Ear Blowing Audio. He also does radio imaging coaching. Now, my reason for being okay with their coaching, again, everyone has their own opinion. It's because they both come from production world of radio imaging. They know what those producers want to hear out of you. Right. And that is so important because you, I could, hell, you could have a session with me and I could be like, yeah, you sounded cool, but I'm not going to know what that PD wants. Right. <laughs> So I, I, I encourage you to that if you're going to, you know, take the time and and coach that you coach with someone who knows what that industry wants and is looking for and how you deliver. It's super once important now. Once now. Right. Not a year ago. That's right. Not five because years ago. Now. All, that's right. and better yet. <laughs> what they want in six months. <laughs> no, you're, right. That's the guy right. you want. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. We, and you know, that that also happens. Uh, station switches and I had a station that I was I was talking like this it was this tone and it went from this to talking like this and I wanted to die yep. but that's the biz we're yes. talking with Isa Lopez if you got a question again throw it in our chat room or the Facebook chat room but we do have a question from Fred's voice do mm -hmm. we not we do um <laughs> Fred asks you don't produce, so do you think that's ever cost you business, deciding that you're not going to do that? And is that even worth thinking about? Because you've obviously carved out a niche you've specialized. Do you think that's in any way hurt your business? I, I do, but since I'm really good at networking, I have people that work for me that I hire to do any yeah. type of production if I do need it, yeah. and I pay them. So I'm grateful for that. Um, but yes, it has. And at this point, I'm very grateful to say I, I don't have the time to, to learn it at this particular time. But yeah. the good thing is that, I don't know, I would say close to 90, uh, even higher than 90% of imaging that you guys do, you guys, you're going to be sending in dry because they've hired someone for it. Right. To yeah. produce. Absolutely. Got yeah. one more question for you here, because sure. you'd like to talk about social media. You got a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. How did you develop that many followers? Does that take a lot of work? Yeah. It does. It's constant marketing, but in the right way, not in a corny way. Um, you know, I always tell people, people have strengths. You know, I'm horrible at written anything. Don't ask me to write you a letter because you'll be like, what is wrong with it? Like, <laughs> that's just not my thing. But, like, <laughs> but when it comes to talking and the cameras and talking to you, and I'm good at that. I'm good at, at personal relationships. You know, another thing, another thing that I, I as far as networking, I encourage you guys to you know, go to like the worldwide radio summits and, and, and other summits like that, that you know that there's going to be a lot of radio imaging people there because there's still a magic to, you know, meeting people in person. Um, and if you're not good at that, you have to find what you're good at. If you're good at written, fine. But don't you dare write an email without sending content because how am I going to have you built my house if I've never seen your house? Mm, good, good point. point. Yeah, good yeah. point. Come on now. Yeah. Well, Issa, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Mm -hmm. If people want to get a hold of you or they want you, they, you want them to go to your website, where do they go? Issa, I-S-S-A, voice.com. All righty. Issa Lopez, thanks so much for being with us. So we'll talk no to you problem. again real soon. It's great having you on. Okay. All right. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. 
and it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. Hey, everybody. Got to talk about our lovely sponsors, Source Elements. They're the creators of Source Connect, the Source Connect Standard, Source Connect Pro, Source Connect Now. They have all these great tools. But really the one you want to be focusing on as a voice actor is definitely Source Connect Standard. This is the one that's going to allow you to connect to the most studios. I mean, arguably the most studios that are involved in voiceover production in the world. I mean, this tool has taken over momentum from ISDN in a big, big way as ISDNs become costly less reliable than it used to be, and sometimes just impossible to get. So you definitely want to check out Source Connect. You want to get that in your toolbox. But the good news is you don't have to spend a dime to do it. You can at least get a demo. You can get a 15-day free trial, get it running, go through the hoops of setting up your iLock account. The setting up is the hardest part. Once you get it rolling, you're ready to go. Then when the time comes to actually start using it for a job, you'll already have it on your system, you can activate the license at that time and you can hit the ground running. So go check out Source Connect. You can go sign up at source-elements.com. And we thank them for their support. We'll be right back. Are you confused about how to set up and maintain a professional quality voiceover studio? No wonder. The information out there is mostly mythology. This is the best microphone to use. You have to have a preamp. You need a soundproof booth. This software is the best. Your audio must be broadcast quality. Consult with someone who knows the truth. Someone who's been there, in the trenches, doing voiceover for over 30 years. Someone with unparalleled experience with voiceover studios, who's worked with hundreds of voice actors and designed hundreds of personal studios. He knows how to teach and cares about your success in one of the harshest environments known to voiceover, your home. Dan Leonard, the home studio master. Separate myth from fact and get a handle on your personal voiceover studio. Contact the home studio master at homevoiceoverstudio.com. All right, it's time to talk about Harlan Hogan mm -hmm. and voiceover essentials. I'll just sit here like this and show off the headphones. And, and there they are. Yeah, Harlan, of course, always wants me to talk about the Harlan Hogan uh, Signature Series headphones because they are perfect. They're more perfect than they were before because they've been redesigned. They have a, 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 a the the actual cord just pops out now, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> there, what? Don't we don't want it you to lose better the better rehearsal? Of, yeah, really. There we go. Uh, and uh, they're comfortable and all that. But what Harlan really wanted me to talk about this week is the fact that he's got the hangers for those that you put on your on on your mic stand so you just take your headphones and just place them gently on there i know it sounds like a silly accessory i can't tell you how helpful that is man have so many studios the headphones are barely hanging off the mic stand or they're laying on the floor or whatever right it's helpful yeah and and i i have a couple and i just put one in my new booth which mm -hmm. used to be our guest booth now it's now Totally just my booth. It's my space. Isn't that nice to have your space back? Yes. Yeah, so now I gently hang my headphones there. And you can get those at voiceoveressentials.com. Mm -hmm. Just go over there. Best way to do it, go to the bottom of our homepage here. Click on the link with Harlan Hogan talking into his Portabooth Pro, and it will take you right there. And you can get those. Check them out. Uh, he's got them on special this week. And that's important because... Everything he's got is at a great price. He backs up the stuff he has. You don't like it? Send it back. What's not to like? If you buy it there, you know you're going to get the good stuff. VoiceOverEssentials.com. Thanks for being with us, Harlan. Hey, it's Isa. And estás escuchando a VoiceOver Body Shop. And we are back to say goodbye, but we got lots to tell you about first. Uh, in two weeks, 
or depending on when you're watching this, on <laughs> February 4th, Larry Davis will be with us. Great guy, a great, you know, he, great impersonator of Morgan Freeman, but he does a lot of other stuff, and he's a brilliant it's not, for, it's not Morgan Freeman. It's his high school history teacher. teacher. Right. Get it right. Okay. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> he'll be he'll be a lot of fun. You want to you want to you want to be there for that. Uh, we need to t- thank our donors of the week. Our donors, yes. like Tracy H. Reynolds, uh, Eric Aragoni. It's so weird how it formats them somehow differently. Sometimes you see the name on the subjects. And yeah. Thomas Pinto, uh, Shelley Avellino. I mean, thanks, Shell. All these folks are subscribers. That's why you're hearing their names every show almost. Tremaine Mosley, Trey. Trey, good guy. Um, Philip Sapir. Yeah. We haven't met yet, I don't think, but we should meet him when he's dead. Uh, and since the last time, we also have Sarah Borges. Sarah Borges. All right. So thank you so, so much, everybody. One and it. all. And uh, if you want to donate, is the donate button still on our website? Let's go find it, shall we? Let's go look at our dun, website. Dun, 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 yes, it is. Okay. So right below says, the chat room, please, says, donate. please donate. All right. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. There's with also that. a survey link on there too. So up top, next to contact, there's survey. We check it out once in a while, and we see what it is you guys are thinking about what we're doing. Right, and we'd like you to subscribe to our email list. We do. We we like. Uh, that. Which I think there's also a link to that on the. It's all on, on the, the website. It's the all there. Dot TV. Yeah. All right. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, hey, you know, show us your booths, guys. I know we're <laughs> having to dig through my archives. This is <laughs> Howard Parker's. Nice which place. I did two and a half years ago. I think we can get some fresh booth photos. So, guys, send them in. We appreciate it. In landscape, landscape, landscape not portrait. Not portrait. Landscape. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, as you know, we're now live on Alternative Mondays. So, we'll be we'll be showing you all this week uh, our, an interview with our guest. And then the following week, we will replay the tech segment. Mm-hmm. That's all you want to hear, mm-hmm. which... You know, we know some people really like hearing the tech segment. Uh, so a week of interview, the following week, tech. Mm-hmm. And then we go live again on mm-hmm. February 4th with Larry Davis. And we know most of you guys consume the show as playback. Yep. You can hear it on a podcast or you can listen to it on or watch the show on Facebook and YouTube. We post every show online after the show. All right. And uh, if you'd like to be in the studio audience, because we have this marvelous new studio couch in Lots here of space. show this show the studio there sue uh, and there's eddie furrier who is and, and his son chris this is chance he's yeah. been sitting here all, all night, night for that moment and there he yeah, is, baby. is that yeah. One right yeah so we got all this room in here we'd like to have you in here live for uh, watching the show live uh so write to us at the guys at vobs.tv and put audience mm-hmm. and tell us you know if you're going to be in the greater los angeles area which is pretty great uh getting greater all the time all the time uh we need to thank our sponsors like harlan hogan's uh voiceover essentials voiceover extra vo2gogo.com source elements uh voiceactorwebsites.com and uh j michael collins demos all right we also need to thank the dan and marcy leonard foundation for the betterment of webcasting Yes. Uh, our producer, Catherine Curtin, for getting us great guests. And uh, and they just keep piling up. There's a huge list of great guests who will keep getting even better. Uh, Mike Merlino was in the chat room tonight. Did a great job. Got all those questions on there. Way to go, Mike. Uh, and, of course, uh, his mom, our studio director and technical director, Sue Merlino, who's there. I can't sing any higher. I screwed I that up. Oh, and, of course, Lee Penny, simply for being <laughs> Lee Penny. Uh, well, that's going to do it for us. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight on VoiceOver Body Shop. And uh, remember, if it sounds good, it is good. Hey, we got that right. Uh, I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver Body Shop. Or V-O-B-S. Yes. Have a great week, everybody.
Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services, while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com.